Hi guys and happy Thursday. So I wanted to quickly hop on and share with you my Knowles Farm Sense pre-order haul. And I kind of went a little crazy. Um, I probably should have cut back on the loaves because as you all know, I do not like chopping wax. Um, but I did get a lot of his, uh, I guess they're chunk bags. I can't remember what they're called, but I'll find the receipt and I'll let you know. So here's the size of the box. And it was super cute. It said, um, made with joy. And let me find, I did not take all the squigglies. I just kind of, I actually haven't smelled through it all. Um, but it comes with a really nice thank you. Uh, and the owner is Travis and Amber. We got a really nice, cute thank you. And here's a melting and then taking pictures of your haul. So that's really nice. And then I ordered three loaves and uh, several of the Just the Chunks bag. So I probably should just got all Just the Chunks, but I don't know what I was thinking. So let's, uh, I'm gonna take out these that are sitting on top. So let's start off first with one I haven't had before. And I don't think, I don't think I've had any of these. Yeah, these might all be ones that I haven't had. Beach evenings I've had with cookies, but not alone. So that's the only thing that I think is different um, that is that I have had. So the first one is Let's Get Cozy. It's really pretty turquoise and teal. This is cocoa butter cashmere and palo santo. And I debated at first getting two bags because I really do like uh, Travis's cocoa butter cashmere because I've had it in, what's the name of that one? I have it right there. Why am I drawing a blank? It's gonna bother me. Now I'm gonna get it, hold on. Um, after midnight. So this one has cocoa butter plus cashmere. It's not cocoa butter cashmere, but one in the same. So I did not get, this one's really perfumey. I did not get two bags of the chunks cause I had this. And so I figured, you know, it was almost the same and they're not. <laughs> this one is a little more perfumey. Um, cause I think this vanilla yeah, this vanilla creams it out a little bit. This one's really good. I would definitely get more of that one too. So I'm glad that I got one bag because I think this wouldn't be an open concept melt for me. This would be more of a bedroom bathroom melt. And this is more than enough to get me a bedroom bathroom. So this one's good. You get that creamy, creamy cashmere, like cashmere cream with the cocoa butter. Um, and then just a hint, I really don't get much Palo, just a hint of like, not a smoky note, but like that crisp, let me smell it again. Let me take it out of the bag sometimes. Yeah, I get a hint of Palo, very, very light. I'm wondering if when you warm it, that'll come out more on warm. So that is Let's Get Cozy. Okay, the next bag, and it was an ad, I got two. Um, I think I got two of these actually, is Sinfully Delightful. And this was the last minute ad. I think he added this, um, one of which he had before. And the scent notes on this is strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, Palo Santo, and waffle cone. And I have tons of his strawberry pound cake, so I don't know why I got two bags, but I really wanted to see what the Palo Santo did with it. Cause I have a lot of his strawberry pound cake on his own. And I get a little bit of vanilla. You primarily get that, that um, strawberry pound cake as I eat it. I'm not really getting much of the other notes or Palo Santo, but again, I'm eager to see if it comes out on warm. So that's sinfully delightful. And I got two chunk bags of that. So I think it should be good for a while with that. 
All right. Let's see what else. Oh, the rest are, I got them all out. Okay, and then I got one bag of beach, no, I got two bags of beach evenings. buried. I was like, where did it go? Beach evenings. So I have his beach evenings and cookies. This is beach evenings, which is roasted marshmallow, sea salt, ginger blossom, vanilla, and driftwood. And at first I was only going to get one bag. Ooh. So right off the bat, you get that creamy marshmallow. You get a hint, hint, hint of ginger, very, very light. You get that creamy vanilla. Maybe it's tied in with that marshmallow. I'm not getting, I'm getting a hint of something else. Maybe it's the driftwood or maybe it's the sea salt mixed. But this is really good. This is really a nice, I mean, I can see you melting this anywhere. Bedroom, bathroom, open concept. When you're kind of tired of all those bakery scents or cinnamon kind of holiday scents. This is really nice. This is really light perfumey. It's not very strong on like a perfumey note because I'm really getting, maybe it's a roasted marshmallow. And just a really pretty scent. You just get this creamy vibe. It's not like beach nights, not at all. And that's what I was afraid of. I was like, do I really get two bags? Because I'm like, I have so much beach nights. It's not like beach nights at all. Um, this is really good, and I'm glad I got two bags because my husband was like, get two bags. I was like, okay, because he really likes these types of scents. So I'm glad that I got two bags of beach evenings. Definitely something that I'm going to enjoy now and well into the spring. Okay, then I got a bag. I added this last minute of Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, and this is Marshmallow Sandalwood, Magnolia, and Whipped Cream. And I was very nervous because of the Magnolia. I was very nervous that it would be perfumey. Ooh, this is nice. Very, very light. Um, all I'm getting in the bag, I get more. I'm getting a sandalwood with marshmallow. It's very light though, super light. This is nice. It would also be really nice. I'm curious to see how it would blend with his sugar cookie dough bread or anything that you might want to add, add, uh, add marshmallow to. But yeah, I'm not getting much magnolia. So if you're nervous of floral, this is very light. This is really good. Very light though. Um, not, not as strong as I thought it would be, be so that's good because again, I was very nervous that it would have a very floral note and I wouldn't like it, but that was kind of one that I did add last minute. Another one that I added last minute, um, which is Furtastic Marshmallow Dreams. I wanted to see if this smelled like all of, like should I add this into the mix of the comparison of Christmas trees and cookies and um, Christmas trees and cream. This is fir, pine, buttercream, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and sugar. So I was nervous about how strong the pine would be. So the pine's there and the fur. So this one, you get more of that cookie, like hard, crisp cookie, like a sugar cookie, um, almost kind of similar to Beth's uh, Christmas trees and cookies. But this is tree. If you don't like tree, this is not for you, Chris. <laughs> As soon as you open it, you get those tree notes um, with a very, very hint, light hint of buttercream and everything else. I do get a little bit of a cookie note, but like I said, a very crispy cookie, like hard snap cookie, um, not ooey gooey cookie. So I'm excited to try that. I'm glad I got one bag because that is kind of heavy on the pine, but it's not bad. Um, it's just heavy on tree so you really have to like tree or maybe mix that with some of um his sugar cookie dough bread or um his amish what's the other one amish dutch bread or amish something bread i have a few of those i think downstairs too and then this one i was gonna get a loaf but i changed my mind because i have a lot of his sugar um 
sugar cookie royale already in squares and strawberry pound cake. So I figured if anything, I can mix it myself. So this is Calm Down Jamal. Yeah, it's very, very sweet strawberry. Like it says strawberry pound cake with sugar cookie royale or royal, not royal. <laughs> Yeah, um, and I have, I mean, again, I have both of these scents. So one bag is enough, I can mix it, um, but I'm happy to have it because his strawberry pound cake is amazing. So that's calm down, Jamal. All right, this one, um, and this is the last of his Just the Chunks. This was a definitely wild card for me. And this is Holiday Truffle. The scent notes on this are raspberry, white chocolate, pecan, butter, brown sugar, vanilla, and toffee. And so what I was nervous about is I don't like chocolate and wax. Um, and I typically don't like kind of nut notes. So I was like, how is that going to be? Um, and all I get is a raspberry chocolate, similar to like a creamy, like this is white chocolate. So like a creamy chocolate, I don't know about white chocolate, maybe it's the brown sugar that's also kind of giving it a really sweet note with the raspberry, but I almost kind of, um, this is a sweet raspberry. It's not a perfumey raspberry by any means. So if you're nervous about uh, perfumey raspberry kind of oils. This is not, this is a sweet raspberry. It's strong. <laughs> this one you definitely smell. Um, it's, it's kind of leaning medicinal to me. So I don't know if this one will really be for me. So if anybody wants to try it and they weren't able to pick it up or they like these sort of things, I can send you some. Um, but I don't know if this one definitely is gonna be a wild card. So um, we'll see what it's like on warm. All right, then my sample here is Birchwood Bonfire. This is white birch, oak, cedar, moss, amber, and spices. So I typically don't like a lot of tree or cedar. This is very smoky. You get that cedar, you get that birch, you also get that oak. Similar to the oak note, it's very, not the same oak, but similar to, because this is white oak. Yeah, it's you, get, you definitely get that oak and cedar. Um, it's very smoky. So if you like those types of things, smoky and birch and wood, it's, it's, it's that for sure. Uh, that's Birchwood Bonfire. So excited to try that. Um, and then let's dig into the loaves. That's it with the squigglies. All right. So the first loaf I got is the good stuff. And this is sugar cookie dough bread and Palo Santo. And everybody raved about this. All the wax ladies. Pretty purple wax. Oh, this kind of matches my shirt as I'm getting wax everywhere. Very, I'm not getting a lot of the Apollo. Maybe on warm. I'm just really getting his sugar cookie dough bread. So this actually would be a good blender. I'm wondering if I could blend that with holiday truffle and I'll take it down a notch. Yeah, that might be a good blend to blend holiday truffle with the good stuff. Yeah, it might kind of take it down a notch. Um, but I'm glad I got a loaf in that because I think it will also be a good blender between like the cookie doughy, cookie doughy, the cookie dough bread, sugar cookie dough bread, and the Palo Santo. So. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I just really am getting his sugar cookie dough bread, which I have tons of snaps. I think there's snaps downstairs. So that is the good stuff. 
All right, the next loaf I got and I was on the fence was Rustic Cookie Cabin. This is sugar cookie dough bread and roasted pine cone. And the reason why I was on the fence is like, how much sugar cookie dough bread am I gonna have? But I've really been on, pretty orange. It almost looks like it's pumpkin pie pound cake. I've really been on the roasted pine cone kick. And this is good. This almost kind of smells like fireside cookies that Amanda has that I just got from Salt Mountain Melts. I chopped up that loaf. This is really good. I like this. Let me see. Uh, I didn't want to get wax everywhere. I want to smell the bottom. Yeah, you get more of the roasted pine cones on the bottom. That's good. I love, I'm like going to quickly grow tired of roasted pine cones, but I'm totally thoroughly enjoying it. Today I have Palo Santa in it and it's good. From Lavender and Speckles. It's just the best kind of mixture of the donut shop and Palo and roasted pine cones. It's really good. So that's a rusted cookie cabin. So I'm glad I got a loaf in that. All right. And last but not least, everyone's like, oh, you got to get multiple loaves. And I'm like, I just have so much wax. I probably would have gotten one. This is sugar cookie, more sugar cookie royal, sweet bakery dough, zucchini bread, and by the fireplace. So it's treats by the fireplace. So this one is phenomenal. This you get that creamy sugar cookie or you get this creamy sweet bakery dough. You get the zucchini bread, um, almost similar to the zucchini bread that's in, I think there's zucchini bread and pumpkin pie pound cake. I can't remember anymore. It smells similar to something else that he has. What is that other one? It's good. And then you get that sugar cookie royale why am I drawing a blank? I have more of his wax here in my drawer. So let me see. The, it's the one that I raved about that he didn't offer. And this is Warm the Soul. This is by the fireplace, Palo Santo and zucchini bread. So I already had a loaf of it. So I didn't, he didn't offer it, I don't think. But yeah, this is the same by the fireplace with his zucchini bread. So if you like, if you weren't able to try Warm the Soul, it's very similar to Traits by the Fireplace, just minus the Palo. So if you don't like Palo Santo, this one would be a really good one to start with. But yeah, I'm getting the same exact vibes as Warm the Soul. Just an extra creamy note because of the sweet bakery dough and the sugar cookie royal. So that one's really good. I'm glad that I picked that up in a loaf. So that's it guys. That is my Knowles Farm Scents uh, pre-order haul. I think this was done at the end of November and I just received it. It's been sitting here for a while. Um, I received it on the 20, like right after Thanksgiving. So um, it was a very fast turnaround time. I know he got it done sooner. Um, and I'm super excited to have this now for the holidays. Um, I do know in here, he says like to let it, you know, it gets better with age and cure. So I will probably warm through some of this, but not like I'll probably start cutting up some of this loaf, but obviously I'm not going to get through the whole thing. So I'm curious to see how it goes um, with time. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share with you my wonderful Nils Farm Sense pre-order haul. Um, I do know that um, he's going to be shutting down for a little bit, but for the most part, I'm glad that he went this route of truly the pre-order and having us have an opportunity to kind of look around, get ideas and make our lists and um, not so quote unquote like the Hunger Games. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Bye.